What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man, and today we're talking about how to find a tailor that you can trust. Okay, I know you've heard this a million times, but fit really is the most important aspect of style. If your clothes don't fit, nothing else matters. You know, it doesn't matter where you bought them, what brand they are, how much they cost, what color they are, you know, how trendy they are, what season it is. If they don't fit, you're not gonna look good. If you don't believe me, just look at these old pictures of how I used to dress before I understood uh, just how important clothing fit actually is. You know, once I understood that my clothes have to fit well, it doesn't matter where I buy them or, you know, what color they are, really anything else. If they don't fit well, they're not gonna look good. Uh, my entire look transformed, you know, and, and honestly, I wouldn't be, uh, as stylish or nearly as confident as I am today if I hadn't realized this. Wearing clothes that fit will literally make you look taller, leaner, more handsome, more athletic. It's gonna make you feel more confident. And the best way to get your clothes to fit well is to take them to the tailor. Now this is especially true if like me, you don't have an off the rack body type. But if you've never been to the tailor, I understand that the idea of having to find a tailor and visit them can be kind of intimidating or maybe you don't know where to start. I often get asked, you know, how do I find a tailor? How much should I pay them? How do I know I can trust them? Do I have to know my measurements? You know, what if they mess up my clothes? What if I waste my money? So in this video, I'm gonna show you the exact process that I use to find a new tailor, test them out, and then build a long-term lasting relationship with them. So how do you find a tailor? Okay, the best way to find a tailor is, you guessed it, uh, by using the internet. So you wanna hit Google and Yelp, and you wanna type in tailor or clothing alterations and then obviously your town name, where you live. Most cities and towns are gonna to have multiple options. Even if you live in a very, very small town, chances are your local dry cleaner has a seamstress on staff that can handle basic alterations. So whether you use Google or Yelp, I really like Yelp for this particular thing. Now you wanna pay attention to two things. Number one is the reviews. Uh, you wanna make sure they have a few reviews at least, that they're positive, you know, four or five stars. You wanna make sure that some of those reviews are from men and not just all women. And the second thing is the location. I highly recommend finding a tailor that's close to your workplace or your home. That's gonna make dropping off and picking up your clothing much more convenient. So after you identify one or two tailors that uh, have great reviews and that are near your workplace or your home, pick up the phone, it's time to call them. First of all, make sure that they're gonna be open when you plan on stopping by and ask them this exact question. I want to get a pair of jeans hemmed and I'd like to keep the original hem. Can you do that? Now, if they say no, they can't do that, they can't keep the original hem, or if they don't understand what you're talking about, you're gonna wanna move on, okay? They're probably not a great tailor. See, jeans have this thick hem at the bottom and when you shorten a pair of jeans, you can do it in a few different ways. Now, the simplest way uh, is to remove the hem and do a blind hem. This looks terrible on jeans and it's the sign of an amateur tailor. The second way to do it is by stitching a fake hem around the bottom after creating a blind hem. Uh, this looks a little better, but it's still not the best way to do it. The best way to shorten jeans is to do it uh, in a method that actually preserves that original hem. Yeah, it's a little more complicated, it's a little harder to do, usually a little more expensive, but it's definitely worth it, it looks way better, and any decent tailor is gonna be able to hem a pair of jeans while keeping the original hem. So, find a tailor that says yes, they can do that, and then ask if you need an appointment, you probably don't, you know, stop by, uh, bring your jeans in, they're gonna have you try them on, you're gonna stand in front of the mirror. I promise that this feels weird, you get used to it after you go there 15, 20 times, um, you know, it's, it's really, it's not a big deal. Um, they're gonna pin you up, you know, make sure to wear some shoes that uh, you're probably gonna wear with those jeans more often. So if you're a loafers guy, wear your loafers. If you're a boots guy, wear your boots. Make sure you're happy with the length. You know, with a new tailor, sometimes they have a, an idea of what they think is the proper length for your pants. You might want them a little bit shorter. So make sure that they give you what you want, you know, not what they think is right. Be polite, you know, if they say, this is a good length, but you want them a little bit shorter, just say, no, you know, I, I actually want them just a little bit shorter if that's okay with you they'll be fine with it. You know, you're paying them for a service. Okay, so a few days later, they're gonna call you or they're gonna tell you to come in and pick your pants up. Try them on when you're there. Make sure they look good. Uh, you know, if they're not how you want them, if they're too long or too short, ask if they can fix them. You know, if they wanna charge more for that or something. It's okay, you know, right now, the relationship is kinda new. Just pay them what they want. Uh, but make sure you're happy with their work. Now, if their work is really bad, like if the hem is messy, if the stitching is loose, or if they didn't keep the original hem, 
you're gonna wanna move on. You know, I'm sorry, but you probably just wasted 20 bucks, but at least you dodged a bullet by figuring out that they're not a great tailor. In that case, go back to the beginning, start over with a new pair of pants and a new tailor. But if they did a good job, which they probably will have done a good job, uh, it's time to up the ante a little bit and bring them a slightly more complicated task. So what I recommend doing next is bringing in a button up shirt that either needs to have the sleeve shortened or that needs to be taken in, like maybe it's a little too baggy on you. These are slightly more complicated, slightly more involved in expensive alterations, but still any decent tailor should be able to do a great job with a button up shirt. Same process, go in, you're gonna put it on, they're gonna pin it up, and then you're gonna go pick it up a couple days later, try it on, make sure it looks good. If you're happy with their work on your shirt, Congratulations, you've got yourself a tailor. And at this point, you're probably gonna to wanna to bring everything to the tailor because you're going to be totally convinced about the power of tailoring. Uh, and I recommend doing that and nurturing the relationship. So, you know, if they did a good job, leave them a five-star review on Yelp, leave them a five-star review on Google, and make sure to let them know that you did that. Um, once they start seeing your face, you know, a couple times a month or every month, once they see your reviews online, uh, you're gonna be a, a loyal customer. You know, you're gonna be a regular and they're gonna start turning things around faster for you. They're gonna start giving you discounts sometimes. And it's really cool. It's kind of like your relationship with uh, the, the guy who cuts your hair. You know, it's it's a very old school um, kind of loyal relationship. And, uh, and you know, whenever I move, I always make it a priority uh, to find a new tailor that I can really trust. And I use this exact process that I've outlined in this video to do that. And one last point, it's totally okay to have more than one tailor. You can kind of have your affordable, fast turnaround tailor that can handle most basic alterations like hemming and tapering a pair of pants. And then you can have your higher end, more expensive tailor that you bring your, you know, your suits to or anything that's really important or uh, more expensive. I personally have a couple of tailors that I can trust, but I do have my one go-to tailor and I'm probably there, I'd say once a month on average. And you might think that sounds expensive, but getting your clothes tailored is always cheaper than buying new clothes. So my hope is that if you haven't gone to the tailor, if you don't have a tailor that you can trust, after watching this video, I really hope that you know you feel more comfortable finding a tailor and testing them out and then you know becoming a regular. And of course, if you have any questions about this stuff, leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Until next time, stay stylish.